guys, Rex here. We're taking a closer look at the Nagoya NA24J antenna. Now, this is an upgrade of an antenna that I use for my Beofong UV5Rs and my 8s. I've got like a dozen of these things, and I use them every day um, for scanning and communicating and listening into all kinds of stuff. I got other antenna arrays that I use. The original antenna comes as kind of a hard plastic little deal. And um, very quickly, it's evident that those things are very fragile, as a friend once explained to me, to upgrade to these. A lot more flexible, a hell of a lot better performance, like huge upgrade to this, to this radio. Very, 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 very good upgrade. And um, in the last year or two, because I use them a lot, I've noticed that if you drop them <laughs> from six feet on concrete, which is a thing that happens here at Rex Defense, Rex Reviews, right? Um, they'll break. So this is the second or third one that I've had break dropping it here. So this is how it screws in here. And the brittle part... See, the, the solid plastic ones are about yay long, and the fragile area is a lot longer, okay? And so here, we just have this area, but where they're breaking is, and, and the last couple have broke this way, is right in here. Now, could that be repaired? Yeah, with super glue, crimpers, soldering, I don't know, man. Like, I've got new antennas, but like... um. Because I always have redundancy with all the stuff I get. And I'm going to buy a lot more of these. But what I'm going to do now is troubleshoot. So if you look at this, this is your brittle area right here. The hard plastic. This is not going to break off when you drop it. But this thing here might. So, old school solutions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, man, who is this guy, Rex? What is he doing with duct tape? This is not a solution. Yeah, maybe it actually is a solution. You ever calm down enough to figure it out? So I'm going to just... Always buy real duct tape. This stuff is pretty good. Dear Lord. <laughs> so we got a piece of duct tape here. And I did university physics, and we did a lot of lab work with um, shock absorption, like trying to get stuff not to break upon impact. And so the trick is to, like, put a cushion on it. But Rex is not going to look tactile. Yeah, whatever, man. That depends on what click you're in, how tactical it looks. Plus, what are you worried about looks for? That's retarded. That's gay. We're going to do functionality. That's probably too much tape. But I don't like my stuff breaking. And when the nuclear comet comes and destroys the Earth, I do not want to have to be worried about my antenna breaking, wishing only if I would have put a few more wraps of duct tape on there to freaking make it cushioned more. So what am I doing? Trust me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this will work fine. Now, am I going to throw it onto the concrete again on purpose? No. But I bet you it's not going to just snap off again. Because it's, it's the brittility. It's the, the hardness of that plastic here is harder. You can tell from the tone. What is that? That's an A440. <laughs> Joking, calm down, guys. <clears throat> so this now, simple fix, right? Look at that. This is probably what an army guy would do. Just saying. Don't know. 
if they're, well, actually an army guy would have a Singars or whatever radio they have nowadays with some kind of ninja antenna set up, whatever, I don't know. But uh, I, I don't know. I know they like duct tape because I remember, I remember being in duct tape land one time. Oh man, it looks so ugly. Uh, are we posing with our Bofong Chinese radios now? I mean, calm down. So here we go. That's my, I'm pretty, I'm 98% sure this will not break off like that again. All right. If it does, I'll report it. Rex is honest. But uh, I'm thinking that it might work all right. All right, Rex out. Don't trust 